What is going on, folks and listeners of my talking, ranting, ta- hearing about what's going on in my life of art? Um, let's fill you in on the last few days. All right, let's start uh, page two and three. As you can see, it's going to be a double page spread. I have a plate so I can make the earth slash globe. Uh, I'm going to be refining that a little bit. Um, I'm going to lay that out and then I'm going to lay the, down the panels on the page. But before that, I wanted to show off the double page. Um, as I was saying the other day, I get pads of Bristol. Um, primarily, you cut the edge off and then just tape them together. Um, I typically, I don't know if you can see that, um, I just fold it over and then I will tape it all together make sure it holds um, then I'll start laying down the lines um, and then when I get a good enough design down that um, I know I can separate them work on them separately and then uh, get them all handled but yeah that process is a pretty pretty good sized one but I'm excited about page two and three um, if you haven't checked it out um, Jan had posted his Sketchalona 18 where he has started his project as well. Check that out um, while you see this page come together. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Um, they've been something pretty extraordinary. Um, day six kicked off. Uh, I had to take my friend to the hospital. for an appointment to get her herself centered basically um, which meant I wouldn't be able to work on my pages two and three splash page doesn't mean that I couldn't rework some things and make things work better um, some pretty extraordinary things happen on this day one um, my friend got to see the entirety of issue seven, um, telling from her facial expressions and her gasps and her overall vibe as she was reading issue seven, I am even more excited to get that issue into people's hands. Um, it is honestly a huge achievement. Um, I think it hitting all the notes that I want it to hit just further instills that I'm on the right path and this is the path for me. Um, after that, I was working on my sketchbook for February days. Um, and then the Kickstarter hit its funding. Issue 7 is getting made. It crossed the threshold. And I'm super stoked on that. Um, I honestly couldn't be more pleased and then something else happened um, when I put up my last video I uh, kind of told you about this gentleman's bet well Jan took it to the next level challenged me used my creation in his thumbnail and that son of a bitch mind my words I'm sorry for the abusive nature of them but that son of a bitch has a reckoning coming. Uh, I will link uh, his video up in the corner right now. Check out his latest. Um, he's playing off what I said in my last video. Um, seeing the work that he's working doing on his pages is just further propelling me to do my work harder and better and everything else. Um, Honestly, I love watching his sketch alone of videos uh, and seeing his pages evolve and become better. 
and it just keeps pushing me. So uh, about midday, a few of the other people from this comic anthology challenge um, were kind of getting together in groups and talking about um, how far their progress was and uh, Jan piped up and said he was holding the lead for right now uh, and I said not today well today but not for not for a long time um, he's planning on getting uh, two more pages done so he's done with two and three by Sunday um, I should be equally along um, I'm recording this on Thursday so we're seeing if I can hit that by Sunday I'm pretty sure I will hopefully I'll be taking the lead from him very soon uh, we are updating each other every morning uh, and it is looking incredible like honestly I can't wait to see his story fully um, the work I'm doing on my pages is exciting me beyond all expectations um, so yeah then I got to work on my splash page uh, here I shot another clip this will explain everything all right just some quick re revisions um, I had that layout for the page two and three um, got to designing and didn't like this uh, cross hatch um, this dividing panels lines um, once I got the page taped together uh, I didn't think it would properly show off the hands uh, gripping the rocket so I made that a little higher so now it's going to be like a block system where it's big panel little panel uh, I think this is going to be a bigger panel with lots of smaller panels interspersed. Um, I think it's going to have the three main characters on this side and then Zeke's going to be on this side. Um, further showing his separation early from the group. Um, it's going to be a warning light that's going to show all four characters different eyes looking up towards the warning light. Uh, they're all going to be saying oh no uh, and then you're going to see a smaller panel of Zeke and V like bonking their head and knocking them out and they're, those two are going to be knocked out uh, while Wrath and Donnie are fighting in the background over here so that's what's going on right now I'm sure you're watching me go over this up in this corner but uh, yeah that's where we are right now that's where we started from now we're going to get to work when I got those pages together, the the panel layout wasn't working just as I wanted it to. Rearrange some things, got some lines put down on paper, and honestly, that's the starting point. As soon as that takes off, it's go 100 miles per hour. Um, the pages look incredible. Um, did the pencils in red once again. I'll show that page right now. Uh, then I went over it with my non-photo blue uh, pencil and clean up lines made it made myself sure I knew where the uh, blacked out spots would be the shadows work on all of that and just came together really well um, I'm sure you're seeing up in this corner the videos of me working on these pages uh, I will have another video or another one in the next video of the inking process um, but the pencils came together awesome they look fantastic and like seeing where the pencils are right now uh, I'm so excited to see this inked because there's a lot of details that are kind of wishy-washy from the two different colored pencils and figuring out what lines but the lines are up in my head and 
if they turn out half as good as they are in my head, they'll be amazing. So that's going to do it for me right now. Uh, I am going to crash out. It's also my birthday. Wait. It was my birthday. Thursday was my birthday. The 9th. Um, hopefully it'll be a great day. But check out Jan's video. Uh, check out the Hundreds Comic Anthology Facebook page. You can see all the other, what everybody else is doing. Oh yeah. I talked to a, another artist and I will be sharing his comic with my uh, supporters for this campaign. Um, uh, this guy started working, uh, he wrote a novel two years, before two years ago, but two years ago he started working on the comic for this novelization. Um, it's called When You Ble Bleed to Death. Uh, I believe it's a personal story with him dealing with suicide, but uh, I've been following his progress from the get-go. Um, pitched in it. His one, one of the first Kickstarters I donated to, and it's been two years. I've been watching the progress go, and I'm super excited to see uh, this comic in my hands. But more than that, I'm excited to uh, share that with my supporters of my Kickstarter campaigns. Um, that's going to do it for me now. Um, we'll see what stage this gentleman bet goes to in the next stage. We'll